People writing in to see their favourite stars or favourite piece of play in action. And so many big names come to mind. Barassi, Farmer, Baldock, Hudson, Skilton, Coleman, and so the list goes on. But there's one name that also kept cropping up. People wanted to relive the courage and determination of one man who is certainly going to live in the hearts of football lovers for a long, long time to come. The man I'm speaking of is the late Peter Crimmins. Here's for Hawthorne nice fans, indeed all football fans, the glory of the Hawks' 1976 Premiership triumph was overshadowed by the loss of one of the game's most courageous sons. While Hawthorne had been waging its grand final battle against North Melbourne at the MCG, Peter Crimmins had been waging his own private battle against cancer. Hawthorne was to win, but the whole football world was to lose one of its most popular leaders. From the time Peter Crimmins left Assumption College and joined the lowly Hawks back in 1966, he was to give total loyalty and devotion to the club. The little blonde rover sported his number five Guernsey in 176 matches, yet in Hawthorne's great years of the mid-70s, when he should have been at his prime, illness cut his career short. Crimmins was only 26 when he played his last match in 1975. While Crimmins was fighting cancer, his former teammates were determined to win the Premiership in 1976, and they did just that. Straight after their win, they took the Silver Premiership Cup around to the home of their dying teammate. He may not have played, but he was the inspiration behind the Hawks' Premiership win. Hawthorne kicking towards the scoreboard and it comes a tap down towards Crimmins. Crimmins fires, it's a goal. To the ball. Martello gets it down, it comes to Bonnie. Bonnie does a poor kick out towards Crimmins. Crimmins recovers, swings around on the half forward flank. Around he comes for, towards Hudson and Matt, uh, Lawrence. Lawrence cuts it away, but Crimmins comes in. Crimmins kicks the ball long, it's Rice going leading in the game. And drives him forward. Hudson comes in there. The ball escapes him, however. Who comes little Crimmins? A tragic photograph, but Sun photographer Clive McKinnon's award-winning picture of the Hawks that night is certainly hard to forget. Three days after the grand final, Peter Crimmins died. This short film segment, however, showed the Peter Crimmins the football fans will always remember. Peter Crimmins, 